Hello and welcome to Creating Cards with Alexandra. I'm Alexandra, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today we're going to make a card using the Stars at Night and the Night Divine stamp sets, along with the Oh Holy Night DSP paper pack. So let's go ahead and get started. So first we need to score our cardstock. And what I have here is a piece of wild wheat. This is eight and a half by five and a half. And we need to score this at two and three fourths. And seven inches. All right, so then what you're left with is this. We're gonna bring this over and burnish it. I'm gonna make sure this kind of lines up perfectly. That's gonna help be how it opens and closes, okay? And then I have my paper, which I've already cut this sheet. Now this sheet was like this. I've already made a card, so you want to make sure when you put this in your cutter, this is going to be at five and a quarter. Okay, so that was the sheet there. I sliced that off, and now we're going to turn this around, and I need, so I'm going to turn it upside down. I need one and a quarter. Oops, sorry. Oop. There we go. You can see that now. Okay, so one and a quarter. And then two and a half. Okay, you want to keep these together for our panel, and then you'll have another panel for another card. So you'll technically get six cards out of that, just on this scene, out of that paper pack. Oops. I mix that up. There we go. All right, so then we'll go ahead and adhere this down. I really like this layout for these scenes that kind of have a continuous pattern. Okay, so that just matches up. All right, and already it's just beautiful with that scene on there. Okay. So then we'll bring in our, this is a little piece of very vanilla, two and five eighths uh, square. And you can use, um, I just cut this out using my cutting blade, or you can use if you have square dies, of course you can use that too. Now I'm gonna condition this with my embossing buddy. And then I have my Bursa mark, and we're gonna use the Oh Holy Night stamp. This is a bigger, I'll just flip it upside down and do it like that, sometimes that's easier. Okay, so now we will go ahead and stamp that down. Put on our gold embossing powder and then we will heat set this
and then out of the Stars at Night stamp set, there are these little tiny stars that I'm going to put on here with the Knight of Navy. And I'm actually going to stamp these off so they're not too dark. Stamp them in the corner. And then down here as well. Okay, and that's what we have on there. And then I have another square panel to mount behind this. This is wild wheat. This is two and three fourths. So we will go ahead and adhere that on there. And then bring this in. Now you just wanna put enough adhesive on just the side here because we need this to open. Okay. You could pop this up if you wanted to. That would look nice as well. All right. So there we go. And then the inside. Um, let's go ahead and take a slice of this. Um, I'll use the other side so I can continue to use that. I'm going to use a little bit of this star paper for on the bottom of the inside. We'll give it maybe just half an inch. Of a DSP. And this was four and a quarter for the inside. Actually, I think it's four and an eighth I do on that inside panel. So this is very vanilla. Have some interest on the inside as well. And then I have the Merry Christmas sentiment that I will also stamp in the Night of Navy. such a pretty font. I love that. Right, so then we'll go ahead and adhere that and that's it. Our card is done. It's a pretty quick and easy card once you have everything together of how you want to do it. So that's it with that beautiful golden boss. Oh holy night and then that seam, the Bethlehem seam. Open it up. It's just such a pretty card. Now I made another card just to show you this how this layout just works so well with paper that has a continuous pattern like that. So this is the All About Autumn paper pack. And this, this style of card would just work so well with a bunch of these because they have these beautiful scenes that you can put on this card and you would just see that continuous scene. So I use the books. On this card, I did this little one with the, I used the, the paper that was the books. I used the bird's eye view because this has a set of books in here. And I used this little guy with the glasses. So he looks like a little bookworm. And I put, don't forget. That comes from the days to remember. Don't forget. A little bit of the pumpkin, no, pecan pie ribbon on the side there. I popped this one up. And then when you open it up, it's your day. I used a little bit of that DSP down here. I just flipped it over because I had a little extra piece there. And then this also, um, I have a friend who has a bir birthday, September 30th. So I'm going to send this to her. And you can use that little calendar and the little circle to circle it. And it's your day. Happy birthday card. Completely different. This is with the books. Very antique-ish kind of looking. And then the Oh Holy Night, which obviously is for Christmas. So you can use this layout for so many different cards. We have uh, another paper pack right now. We have this, I believe it's called Sleigh Ride. That paper has a bunch of scenes as well that would work 
with this and then um yeah so check this this layout out it's very fun and easy to do so um yeah so thank you so much for sharing your time with me i appreciate you watching i really do and i appreciate um all the thumbs up the comments and the um the likes to my channel if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and comment and subscribe to my channel for future videos. It helps me tremendously in YouTube land. And I will link all of the items used below. Also, I'll do this one as well. This one had the, um, I used copper clay on this one and then the All About Autumn DSP. So I'll link that as well, just in case you like that layout and um, paper and items as well. So I'll link that in the description below and that'll take you right over to my shopping page. So thank you so much. Have a joyful day. Bye-bye.